Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Destiny 2 weekly reset video. My name is Story and today is December 8th, which means one thing, we're running up until December 15th because that's how things go around here. Anyway, what have we got to do in Destiny 2 this week? Well, let's have a look at the map. Now, we've got a bunch of things to regard. For instance, we've got uh, some vendor challenges. Most vendors in the game will have a weekly challenge which will involve you doing eight of their bounties for some powerful gear at tier one. So we've got uh, the gunsmith, we've got Shax at the Crucible, we've got Zavala there at the Vanguard, we've got the Drifter doing his gambit business. And if you happen to be a member of a clan, you can get some powerful gear at tier two by earning 5,000 XP for your character. There it is. That is the tower map. There's lots of vendors throughout the Destiny universe, so it's a good idea to frequent yourself with those. Uh, and then we've got Iron Banner back as well, but we're going to come to more on that in just a little moment. For now, we're going to delve into the Vanguard playlist uh, for our destinations. We've got our Vanguard strikes here, the meat and veg of the PvE um, routines. The weekly is to complete strikes using the same subclass element as the currently active elemental burn. Three strikes completed with said attributes will get you some pinnacle loot. That is the top end loot that you can get in the game currently. And the elemental burn for the week is arc sin, so equip your arc subclasses and get involved. Then we've got the nightfall ordeal. What is that this week? I don't know. And without launching it, I don't know. Because API is down and I ain't got time, otherwise I'm going to get a smack on the cheeks if I don't get this vid out fast. And there's already been an hour delay because of maintenance, so there could be trouble. But anyway, the challenges this week, obviously run the nightfall over a bunch of times. The higher difficulties grant more efficient progress and that will get you powerful gear at tier one and then you've got the big bad daddy over pinnacle loot complete the ordeal nightfall with a team score above a hundred thousand points there it is ladies and gents then in gambit this week we've got gambit matches complete three of pinnacle loot in your face all up your face isn't that fantastic and if you want to challenge a member of the family or a best friend or whatever to defeating a primeval you've got private matches as well so then we've got the Crucible section. Uh, we've got Iron Banner is back. You want to be grinding for a steady hand hand cannon. That's what you want to be doing. Um, but yeah, more on that later on. Anyway, Pinnacle Loop for three games of in any of these playlists, with the exception of Survival. Um, you can get some powerful gear at Tier 1 by getting seven wins. That's not playing seven games, that's seven wins. So you can do that at best in two games. There you go. So there's Glory Survival and obviously Freelance Survival. And the rest of the playlist consists of Elimination, Rumble, Iron Banner, Control, Mayhem is the rotary stuff this week. So there you go. Plenty to get involved with there. Don't you just love it? Hmm. The Hawkmoon quest is live. Hop on over to the Tangled Shore. Pick it up from Spider. That's all I'm saying on that at the moment, but it is live. I've already put that in my pocket. It looks a little something like this as the crow flies. So there you go. That's what we're going to be involved in, grabbing Hawkmoon. Mmm, can you smell it? <sighs> but anyway, what else is there to do in Destiny 2 this week? Well, if you look over on uh, Europa, there's plenty. You've got Pinnacle Loot Galore, the Bray Exercise Simulation Survival Business. Pinnacle Loot is available over there. Vendor-wise, if you go to Varix, complete eight of his bounties for powerful gear at Tier 1. Then the Stranger, go and do stasis kills outside of Europa for powerful gear at Tier 1 also. You can get exotic loot by soloing these um, Lost Sectors as well. They're also available on um, the Cosmodrome as well, if you're into that kind of thing. Then we've got the, uh, the, um, the Deep Stone Script or the Scone Crypt. <laughs> That's a like it. The Script, the, the Scone. Anyway, raids completed, pinnacle loot for that, as well as the Empire Hunts. Uh, we've got the hunts completed two off for powerful gear at tier one, and then the master difficulty completed for pinnacle loot as well. Fantastic. We're just festooned with things over here. But anyway, we're going to wrap up the video now by going over to the Eververse store and perusing the stock. Look at this. Look. Hawkmoon ornaments. Shall we spo spoilers? Look away. If you don't want to see what these are looking like, then look away at the moment. We're going to have a look. I'm going to have both of these. Both of them are going in my basket. In particular, I'm liking the look of this one. I mean, they're both good. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But anyway, Hawkmoon stuff is there. 
10 Grasp Sword Exotic Sparrow, looking very shiny and crisp there. Isn't it amazing? We've got the Star Devil Shell. I like this ghost. I may have to splurge on that as well, but uh, limit myself to the Hawkmoon ornaments. Excessive Elbow Dance. And it is excessive. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. And then a Stasis Transmat Effect. And aim to misbehave weapon ornament for the um, Malfeasance, which is very tasty with its mag increase for this season. Whole bunch of stuff for you to look at here. The Atlas accessories, these are really good. Uh, I had to buy the ship for myself. I like it. I, I haven't splurged on the rest there because I'm a bit broke. But anyway, we've got our Bright Dust, it's Bright Dust exclusive stuff here. Um, the Disc Jockey. It's great, isn't it? And then we've got the Halcyon Corvette. Oh, it's playing the music in the background. And um, then the Stasis Projections. We've got the Welded Brass Shader. We've got all our seasonal stuff as well. There's plenty to be uh, looking at there. You can spend a small fortune and then in the archive and then the bright dust section. So this week we've got the I'm Fine um, Omnium Shell. We've got the Sand and Sun Weapon Ornament for the Traveller's Chosen. Yesterday's Augur for the Eyes of Tomorrow Rocket Launcher. You can get that from the new raid, the Scone script, whatever. Um, Ada's One's Lone Wolf. Then we've got Let's Chat. It is a classic. Just look at it. How can you not have that in your collection? And then there is the Rasmussen projection as well as the uh, class item for this season's um, Eververse armor. A, a plenty amount, a plentiful amount, a plethora of shaders, transmat effects, and consumables are available right there. And then, ladies and gentlemen, of course, not forgetting Iron Banner, let's run over and have a look if anything's different to what it was last season. I think it's just a case of picking up bounties Yes, the Iron Banner, there it is. Yeah, grab your bounties, grab your quests, and the Crackle Brass Shader as well. <laughs> See, look at this. That's the grey, dark green, brown. Let's call that some kind of metallic. Green. Everything green. Frog green. Nothing of the sort. But anyway, bounties award pinnacle gear, as well as some Iron Banner tokens, 50 of. And then you've got your quests as well, which will probably be lots of fun, I'm sure. Cheeky wink. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is your weekly reset from December 8th up until December 15th. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic time. I hope Hawkmoon's good. I hope, I hope we're all happy with that. But anyway, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and remember, smoke us a kipper. We'll be back for breakfast. <laughs>